It's all over for the Switch as Genesis Part 2 has finally arrived on Nintendo Switch after months of delay. But for some players it is bittersweet news because Grove Street Games are not delivering on their original roadmap and I'll be covering why. There's also a major uproar right now with tame limits being cut by a huge amount, leaving players stuck and as I say, disappointed and not all Genesis missions are available. Let's see what's going on. As always survivors, if you want to keep up with all the latest dark news, well Bob says make like a bulb dog and subscribe. Thanks pal. Okay, so for the last month or so, both Grove Street Games and Wildcard have been promoting the fact that Genesis Part 2 is to be released. And there's one thing that has stuck out like a sore thumb to me, and that is the fact they repeatedly state that the Ultimate Survivor Edition is now complete on the Switch. They make no mention of the community maps. It turns out that is it for the Switch, at least anytime soon. You won't be getting any of the community maps besides Ragnarok, which already released. A while back, Grove Street announced that the Fjordor map would not be coming because the platform would struggle to cope with the map, but they may try and get the unique creatures onto other maps. Well, it turns out none of this will happen. Fjordor is not the only map not coming. Yesterday, they were asked if the maps are still coming, to which they replied saying they would love to, but no roadmap to announce at this time. The very next day, on the day of release of Genesis Part 2, they continued to say they don't have a good answer on the remaining maps, assume they won't come, and if they do, it's a welcome surprise. So clearly, they are in no position to say anything official about what will happen. But Grove Street did confirm that the Switch is not abandoned. They'll keep running events, but they have to shift their focus to other projects. Of course, we know one of those projects will be the mobile revamp. But they did say they'll continue supporting ASA, obviously on the other platforms. They are also working on the new Arc Mobile title, among other unannounced projects. Whether these are Arc related projects, I have no idea. They also didn't refer to ARC 2, which they are supposed to have involvement in. After further questions from players, Grove Street said it doesn't make financial sense for their studio to work on them right now. Plans changed over the course of development, and at this point they'd be spending a year developing maps they can't sell. Now of course with the way Ark and Snail Games is going financially right now, it's quite obvious as to why and probably doesn't come as much of a surprise. Also to confirm this further, right at the bottom of the patch notes, they said removed maps which are not yet released from the map selection menu, which some of you may have already noticed they've gone. There's also a lot of uproar on the Arc Switch Discord regarding tame limits. The patch notes stated they fixed tame count stat to properly update on PvP servers. Now I've been told the tame limit was originally 300 before Gen 2 released. It has now been reduced to 100. I was also told that the 300 tame limit only used to count tames equipped with platform saddles and things like rafts and titans, but never counted normal tames, unlike other platforms. This meant that even though there was a tame limit of 300, tribes had hundreds of tames well over that limit. Tame limit now counts all creatures, and with it reduced to just 100 tames, Players are completely blocked from taming anything or deploying dinos from cryos and now have to cryo everything to get under that 100 tame limit, which is a pretty tight limit. Grow Street were also asked why some of the hunt missions were disabled. Apparently the Switch can't handle running them, so they had to disable them. Apparently they're disabled on some other platforms too, which is news to me if they are, but it's been a long time since I played Arc Evolved. So yes, that looks like it is that for the Switch, at least indefinitely, while Grow Street now move on to the Arc Mobile revamp, which will also only be getting the Ultimate Survivor Edition that includes all official story maps and the Ragnarok map. But who knows what these other unannounced projects may be. This could be the very last news update for the Switch, unless of course the Switch 2 releases and Arc Ascended comes to that platform, but that's probably a fair way off. Thanks for watching survivors, subscribe to keep updated.